All right. <clears throat> well, it looks like I am going here. Let me see. This is my, my, my participant window opening up here. Attendees. All right. I see some names that I recognize. Good stuff. Let me start off here with the important thing. Ah, yeah. Well, this is the inaugural Uplift Him webinar, June 13th, 2018. I'm so excited. I got, you know, faces behind me up here in case you don't know. And this is being recorded, by the way, in case you don't know, that's where we have that's Sierra, that's Kayla. That's Brooke, that's RJ, and that would be me. Um, so yeah, I mean, welcome, man. I am so excited to, to, to be here. And just to give everyone kind of a lay of the land here and what to expect. Um, I, you can see me, I cannot see you, and you cannot see anyone else that's, that's joined this webinar. I have a panel over here on my screen that tells me, it shows me names of who, who's logged in, um, but, uh, but you cannot see that panel. At the bottom of your screen down here, you'll see you know, a couple of few things. First of all, the, the most important thing down there for you is uh, probably a little tab that says Q&A. And if you click that tab that says Q&A, it'll, it'll open up a window where you can actually type in a question um you can actually type in a question <clears throat> all right people are texting me like i'm on like yeah i can hear you here um so anyhow you can type in a question down there and in that q a panel it'll open for me uh the same box where i can see your your questions i can either type in an answer or i can just answer it out here on on you know on the screen so um, no one else can see your question, and uh, and so as you ask that, looks like somebody might have. <clears throat> Someone says, "How do you look so good so early in the morning?" Oh, I'm digging that. I like that. Um, I like that a whole lot. Um, a lot of makeup. A whole lot of makeup is a short answer to the question. Um, but again, perfect example of of you know a Q and A kind of being in the window right there. Of course, this, this is the uplift team, so this crowd is going to be uh, a little bit rowdy. Um, I do a uplift her call webinar the first and third Wednesdays of the month, and then uplift him is the second and fourth. And so, just yeah, I mean, this is since this is the the first one here, I'll kind of give you a background of of um, what this looks like. So again, for her, which is kind of the women's side, and him being the men's side. Uh, the, the her side is, um, is, like I said, first and third Wednesdays, 6 to 6.30 Mountain Time. The him side is second and fourth Wednesdays, um, you know, 6 to 6.30 Mountain Time. And for this particular one, especially since this is the first one, and I did the one last week for Uplift Her, kind of the same thing, just kind of an overview, lay of the land, if you will. And so either way, there'll be the topics when I say her or him, it's not really so exclusive that um, that, you know, you can't listen to one or the other. The topics will be more geared towards women versus more geared towards men. Um, and, and so and you'll see that as we as we go forward here. Um, but everyone that's on the um, everyone that's on the, the, the email list as far as subscribers will get an email the day before. So you, know, you probably got one yesterday. Uh, and that email will have, have um, it'll have the, the date, it'll have the topic or the question for that week. Um, and then it'll have kind of a bio. Now this one just had me because it's just gonna be me. And then it had my bio and contact info. Well, going forward uh, on these calls, it won't just be me talking every time. Actually, even better. I'm going to have, it'll be a split screen, if you will, and it'll be me and then a panelist. And the panelists will be subject experts on a variety of topics that are going to answer a very intriguing question in that particular webinar. And so that's going to be kind of the format. And so, you know, I have all of these great, awesome people that I know, and they're going to come in and they're going to provide some wisdom, some information, some inspiration, all geared towards uh, helping you in some way be better 
in mind, body, spirit, like I said, information, in, inspiration, and that sort of thing. So, um, so let me see, a couple more Q and A's. Yes, great question. Somebody asked, will you send out a different meeting ID every week? Great question. The short answer is yes. Every single week we'll have a different meeting ID. Um, therefore, if people, if people, um, if people, you know, as people add or drop in off of the off of the mailing list, like I said, it'll be a different meeting ID. So yes, every single week, every single one of these webinars, whether it be the male side or the female side, him or her, will have a different meeting ID. Um, and, uh, and you should, again, just be able to either click the link or just plug in the, uh, plug in the, the actual meeting ID and then, then you should join. This time, it was kind of weird when I, when I logged in uh, at rate at six, I turned on my, I got a little Bluetooth ear, earpiece here. I turned it on and then I clicked something. I kicked myself back out. So then I had to go back in and log back in. But I'm planning on right at six o'clock doing this. And then kicking it off. Um, Cause it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Like I said, there'll be, there'll be a couple of us here and we'll be giving some serious information and it'll be like a five minute or so intro right now. I'm going to eight minutes in a five minute or so intro. And as far as me introducing the person that, that the panelist, uh, and then I'll give that person, you know, 15 or 20 minutes to basically answer that question the best that they can. And then we'll have, as we go through, if you think of anything, that's, that's a, you know, that that's a question that you have, you can type it into the Q and a box, the Q and a panel. And then, uh, and then what we'll do, depending on, you know, how many of those we get, we may, you know, just kind of jump in and answer a question, or we might pick out one or two questions and then kind of near the end, come back and, and circle back on those, on those questions. And now if we get some good topics going on and we get some good discussion, uh, these calls are, are generally slated to go from six to 6.30 a.m. If we get some good discussion and, and good Q&A and that sort of thing, by the way, the panelists will also be able to see that the Q&A uh, the Q &A window as well. But if we get that going on, if we have to go by six, past 6.30, I'll leave the, 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 uh, the webinar open. And then if you wanna stay on for Q&A, then you can do that as well. But generally speaking, expect six to 6.30. Like I said, anything beyond that will be just straight bonus time. Um, and so, yes, different webinar, webinar ID each and every week. I am recording all of these as well. Every single one of them I'm recording. I'm not, Zoom is. And, um, and then I, I'm gonna take, you know, give me some grace a, a day or two. So I'm giving myself till, um, till Friday of that particular week to actually, I'm gonna download those videos, the, the recordings, then I'm actually gonna upload them to YouTube. And then by Friday, I'm gonna send out a follow-up, a post webinar email to everyone that's on the distribution list, on the subscribe list. And that email will have a lot of the same info as the pre-email, but it'll also have a link where you can actually go back and watch the recording. So if you happen to miss or not be able to make the 6 to 6.30 or not be able to make the, the webinar, by Friday, as long as you're on the, 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 um, the current active subscriber list, you'll get an email with a link to the recording. So don't sweat it if you, if you miss it. Of course, if you miss it live, you won't be able to ask Q&A, although each and every one will have the contact info for the panelists, if you will, and myself. Uh, so you can always reach out to that person. Um, you can also reach out to that person kind of outside of the webinar. Then as we go forward, uh, I'm going to also begin to, um, to plan and schedule some casual meet and greets. Literally just meet and greet, no agenda. Uh, you'll be able to meet other people in the, in, the, in the community if you would like to meet in person and also have the opportunity to meet the panelists that, the, that either presented that particular week or any past week. I'm going to try to keep the panelists, if you will, kind of active in this whole community as resources. Because, you know, I mean, these people are, I'm talking doctors, lawyers, authors, speakers, I mean, financial experts, I mean, counselors, I mean, you name it. I mean, these are some high end, high caliber um, kind of people. So I'm hoping to provide that, that as a, this whole thing as a, a low investment, but a high return 
uh, venture for anyone that um, for anyone that uh, that uh, that that it can that it can benefit. So that being said, let me um, let me jump into the to the question here of of the week, which is: Is there a mistress living in my home? That's a great question. I'm glad I wrote that. Uh, if you know me, in, in the email was my bio. Uh, so so if if you know me at all, you know that for 30 of the first 40 years of my life, I was completely hooked and addicted to pornography and every derivative of it. Uh, I controlled everything and it ruined everything. My hopes, my dreams, my aspirations, my self-esteem, my self-respect, um, all of that. It also ruined a career. It ruined every relationship I ever had, including two marriages. Um, and at my rock bottom, I was sleeping in the back of my car. And when I was lonely and isolated and cut off, that's when I began to plan the end of my life. I began to plan my suicide. And, and it was at that rock bottom that I discovered my own personal underground railroad to freedom. It's also where I realized I was in a very real relationship with a very artificial mistress. And that mistress lived in every home that I lived in. And, uh, and she became a part of my life. She became a, a real entity in my life, if you will. Um, and, um, and so I realized that I did have a mistress living in, in my home. And this mistress had some, again, she was artificial, but to me, in a whole lot of ways, she was very real and very tangible. And so in terms of, of the homes in our, you know, in our world and in our culture, I believe, yes, I believe there are some mistresses. Now, when I say she's very real, it's because I got, she didn't have one V, she had six. And her six Vs made it impossible for me to experience true intimacy with either myself, um, uh, with, with my, myself in any kind of way, or anyone I was in relationship with. And in, in, in terms of the, those six Vs that she provided, you know, there was, a, first of all, she, you know, she hooked me with my eyes. She had visualization and um, she, you know, she hooked me with my eyes and my eyes were the windows to my soul. She gave me variety. Variety became the spice of my life. She, um, I mean, there was no limit to her. She was free and unlimited. She gave me a sense of vitality and in that vitality, and I felt like, like King Kong. I felt like captain of the football team, I felt invincible. Like there's nothing I couldn't do. Literally, there's nothing I couldn't do. Then, you know, no guy wants to be a loser. So with her, I didn't have to be because she gave me unlimited victory. She gave me unlimited victory because she never said no. As a matter of fact, all she said was yes, 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 yes. Even to my deepest, darkest desires. And I began to trust her in ways that I didn't trust anybody else because she was always there and she was always available. Um, so I had unlimited victory with her. Now my life was, you know, a mess and I didn't like it. So she gave me unlimited vacation. She allowed me to get away and escape anything and everything I wanted to get away from. And escapism is a, is a you know, it's destructive in terms of whether it benefits your life. But at the same time, you know, that, that's, that's one of the ways that I just kind of I, I got free. I got away from anything that I really struggled with. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, she gave me a sense of validation and that validation came in the form of identity and it was identity for that hurt and wounded and abused little boy that was inside of me, hurt, wounded and abused little boy that's inside of me, little boy that's inside of me. I was a grown man on the outside, but I was a little boy on the inside, like most guys. And that little boy on the inside had some scars and wounds that the man on the outside was trying to protect with this whole thing. Now, everything you just read or heard about as far as all the, the, um, those six V's, they all represented a very real chemical cocktail that man, I just couldn't say no to. Uh, visualization and variety gave what I call a double dose of dopamine. And that dopamine spike is the same thing that happens when you take drugs like cocaine and crack. It's also the same thing that happens when you take drugs like Adderall or Ritalin. So, Thinking back, I wonder if maybe I was self-medicating some level of ADHD. I don't know. The vitality gave me spikes of testosterone, and every guy wants testosterone. Every single guy. Um, let's see. Her victory. Her victory gave me high levels of endorphins. It's the winning, the winning aspect. The you know the locker room scene. 
um, and ironically, in all the locker rooms, they pop corks, Never mind. Um, but, um, but that victory gave me high levels of endorphins. Endorphins are the body's natural opiate. And so artificial opiates are drugs like heroin and morphine and codeine and Oxycontin and Vicodin. And all of those drugs are medicating kind of drugs, specifically pain. And she medicated some very real pain inside of me. Um, in terms of vacation, man, you know, my life was stressful. The stress hormone is cortisol. Well, she gave me spikes of oxytocin. Oxytocin happens to be the perfect chemical antidote to cortisol. Uh, oxytocin is also the bonding agent for us as humans. And so she allowed me, or well, I actually bonded with her on an emotional level. Now, if all five of those represent the, the, the synthetic drug, validation is like the label on the bottle. Validation says who owns the drug, but in this case, it was who the drug owns, and that was me. That was that guy right there. Um, and a lot of these kids ended up crying at some point in time because this guy right here was hooked on that artificial mistress, unfortunately. Um, and that's just me being real and honest. And that happens over and over again. And that plays out over and over again. And just like any other drug, the more you use, the more you need to use in order to get the same level of high. So when that begins to spin out of control in someone's life, then, I mean, that creates a perfect environment for something like infidelity. That creates the perfect environment for the objectification of women. That creates the perfect environment for, or creates a demand for human trafficking or sexual exploitation or sexual assault or even sexual harassment again back to the exploitation of, of women um it just sets a baseline for our our intimacy for our, our emotional lives it just sets a very, very unhealthy place for us to uh for us to live out of and uh and so but that became again that became the very real relationship in my life um and so the solution the solution became strengthening or sharpening my mind continually and methodically the solution became strengthening my body continually and methodically and the solution became deepening my spirit deepening my soul and finding purpose man when i found purpose in there man that changed everything now in the big picture the solution is also connection is every single guy that's hooked on an artificial mistress is really looking for the deepest level of intimacy possible He's looking for the deepest way to share who he is in his heart and who he is. I mean, he, he wants unconditional love. Um, and so that becomes a very real form of that, like I said, in his life. And so he needs connection. And that's where you and I come into play for if there's someone in our, in our lives, someone that we know that falls into that category that struggles with this IP mistress. If you love him and care about him, we need to reach out to him and we need to you know, we need to let them know that, that they're loved and that they're connected and or that they, you want to connect with them, that they're not alone and uh, you believe their heart is good and, you know, and, and provide that, that connection. Maybe that person, somebody you want to choke or <laughs> punch in the face, <laughs> but if you care about them, um, you know, that that's what they need. That's what the person is needing, is needing that unconditional connection which is why I formed my personal mission statement around that very idea. I am Kirk M. Samuels with strength, wisdom, gentleness, and mercy. I co-create a world of intimacy and unconditional connection by teaching and inspiring 1 million men how to live free from internet pornography. That's my personal mission statement. And that's kind of, that's where this comes in. Now, everything I just said is kind of the basis behind my book uh, for your eyes only, the inside scoop about men, porn, and marriage, um, which is kind of poetic because I, I didn't read my first book cover to cover until I was 35 years old because of ADD and dyslexia. Um, and now I'm a published author. So that also led me to teach classes. This has been over four years now, I began to teach classes, teaching guys, teaching and inspiring men how to live free from internet pornography. I knew my what my problem, I knew my why in my problem, what I didn't know was the how in my problem, how to uh, fix it, how to address it, how to get free, what that underground real world looked like. So I began to teach classes. I began to, now I coach guys one-on-one -on -one and it's very fulfilling to do that kind of stuff. And I've discovered my purpose. This is why I was created. And so out of the class, then I realized we had a lot of the similarities in terms of, uh, in terms of the experience. 
And so, you know, so then I realized you know, every guy feels like he's on an island and every woman in his life feels like she's on an island. But if that was the case, it'd be the most populated island on earth, um, just considering how much this is a problem in our culture. But it's so dark and shameful that we barely, very rarely even talk about it. Hence, uplift. Um, you know, where we can go in the direction we want to go, which is which is up. We want to be lifted up and uh, we want to lift up each other, especially as community. And so that's where this thing comes in, where we can have a place where we can connect with other people, where we can connect with uh, people that can say me too. We can connect with people that have answers to questions in our lives and, and the help that we need. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of the, the premise behind this whole thing. And I'm really... You know, really excited about the opportunity. This provides a place where there's no geographical boundaries, uh, barriers to entry in terms of, you know, you can do this anywhere around the world as far as Zoom. And it's going to be a quick hit right now. I mean, I basically covered most of the premise of my book, including all the layout of this whole thing, and we're 23 minutes in. Um, so I, I didn't want to take up a whole bunch of time in terms of, you know, people's day or early in the morning. If you're on it, you can get it live, cool. If you get the recording, you know, later on in, in the week, that's that's cool. But have it pretty be, like I said, low investment, low overhead, but high return. So I am very excited about the whole idea and, and the whole prospect of of doing all of this. Um, and you know, I was actually honored to do a live audition the other day with uh, TEDx Mile High, and it went very well. Um, I actually got chosen that night as the the uh the, the crowd favorite um so i was pretty excited about that whole thing and so who knows you know i mean what we'll, we'll see we'll see the way that pans out or what what happens from that but uh but i'm pretty excited so that being said um i'm looking in my in the q a panel here uh, q a window um had a couple of good questions answered both of you actually know each other um um and so yeah i mean i think you know i think um as we go forward like i said i'm just way excited uh let me plug next week next week i have a family law not next week two weeks from now on the the next uplift him call i have a family law attorney who's watching right now hello She's going to be over here or over here. I don't know. One of us will be here, or there, and um, and and, uh, and I I gave her the question: Do guys always end up with the short end of the stick in divorce? Um, and so she's going to answer that question. So it's going to be a very interesting conversation with that family law attorney. Do guys always end up with the short end of the stick in divorce? Um, and that's, that's going to be kind of the, the, uh, the topic of the question in two weeks. Um, and so her name is Teresa Wilkins and there you go. Hi. Um, so, um, yeah, her and I will be getting in touch with the logistics of doing this and, um, and she'll be logged on at her house or wherever she is. I don't know. She might be on a treadmill for all I know, but she'll be logged on from her place. I'll be logged on to here. Like I said, we'll have a split screen and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, and she's watching, so you and I will be in touch. But just as far as going forward, I got some great topics, man. Not only that, like I said, I just plugged the next one um, with uh, with Teresa, who's definitely on my power team. Um, and next month, I, I got topics like purpose. I got a, a couple coming on talking about female sexuality. They're counselors and together. Uh, I mean, this is on the guy side of things. Um, I got uh, one of my great buddies, um, also my dentist. He's going to come on and actually talk about fatherhood. He's one of the best fathers I know. I got someone talking about financial literacy. Um, I mean, I got so many topics coming up, it's not even funny. I got I got all the webinars ske scheduled at this point all the way through the end of the year. So, um, so it's going to be just a whole lot of information, random topics. And by the way, if you happen to have any kind of topics or ideas as far as what you would like uh, to see discussed in this venue, um, you know, let me know, email me, text me, call me, send a messenger pigeon. I don't know, something. Um, 
and uh, and yeah, we'll we'll get it on the calendar. But like I said, I got some great topics coming through the rest of the of the year. I'm so excited. I got some dynamic people um, that are going to be panelists on this whole thing. So um, that being said, just checking one last time in our Q and A panel. Um, does anyone have any questions? I'll, I'll, I'll give a last uh, couple minute or two here. I got six twenty seven on my computer. Um, if anyone has any questions that that I can answer. Otherwise, um, otherwise, it uh, looks like we got you know quite a few quite a few people on the on the participant list over here. Um, yeah, <clears throat> let me see here. Looks like somebody might be typing. I don't know. I got this little thing. Um, <clears throat> well, I think it, I don't know if that was somebody typing or not, but. Um, but uh, that being the case, I will actually go ahead and wrap up the meeting here. Thank all of you. When I send you the follow-up, the post email with the YouTube link, feel free to share it. The, the video won't be published as far as on YouTube. Like you can't search it and find it, but if you have the link, you'll be able to open it. So feel free to share that email, share it with friends and family or whomever just to kind of let them know or let them see kind of what's going on. And like I said, I, I mean, if they get a chance to watch the, the, the recording of this, that's great, but feel free to forward that email on. And, um, and hopefully this can be a benefit to, uh, to someone else, to anyone else. Um, that being said, thank you all. And I will see you in just checking the little Q and A window again. Thank you. I will see you all in two weeks, two weeks, um, whatever that is, the 20 or 27th. All righty. Thank you all. I'm ending the call. I will talk to you later. Have a fantastic morning. Be free.